If you're bored to bits and can't handle it, don't step outside, just take a ride in the game taxi. You will not need the word bonjour in this game. Welcome back to Game Taxi. Welcome back. I'm Luke. And I'm Dalton. <laughs> Episode 4 of Heroes Quest. Yep. Otherwise known as... Heroes Quest. Oh, I forgot the other name of it. Mm-hmm, good. You should. What do these people want to look it up and all they can find is that shitty-ass board game? <laughs> Sierra. Heroes Quest Sierra. It's funny, because if you do include Sierra, you can even put, like, Heroes Quest 3 and 4, and you'll get the proper one. Ah. Oh. Because, yeah. like, just, you know, they could, they officially had to change the name, but no one stopped using it. Yeah, it's weird how, it. like, the board game got the name, and Sierra... They were out first. What? They were out first. Were they? Yeah. I thought... I thought it was just because Sierra didn't actually trademark the name. I don't know about that. Oh, I didn't notice you come in. You look like an adventurer. The Bergens tend to get rid of most of the adventures before they make it here. You may be in luck or carry a modest amount of adventurer's equipment. What would you like to purchase? Oh, good. Yeah. yeah we Okay. Let's get a dagger. Ah, thanks for the patronage, he says. All right, that gives us Four. Yeah, yeah, it says right here, Sarah failed to trademark the name. Ah. So Milton Bradley just took it Those and bastards. got it trademarked. That's gross. Ah, yep. I hate them. Well, I mean, Sarah should have done the due I diligence to trademark their fucking game names. I hate them. <laughs> Sarah's just out for a good time all the time. Yeah. Yeah, they seem like a decent Dirt company. Advantage. Dirty, dirty dicks. So, yeah, so maybe that is especially why no one stopped calling it Heroes Quest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know if Sarah's still around in any form? It's yeah, they're like a subsidiary of a subsidiary kind of thing. Like they were bought out, and then that company's been bought out. And it's I don't know. Like they definitely the name still exists. Someone still definitely owns the name. Oh, okay. But I don't know if they really use them as an actual studio. Hmm. Because it's at one time, like, their engine and stuff was kind of enviable to others. Oh, no, apparently they shut down. Okay. Yeah. That's, I know, like, it's, the, the name is still on. You couldn't open up a new company and call it Sierra. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. Yeah, apparently they shut down. They were there officially established in 2004 okay oh man what a great company though they made so many good games yeah yeah you've shown me quite a few games and like they're all fun yeah man like it's they were made for adults but since Kids didn't have many much stuff. Kids played them too and just enjoyed them for the gameplay and good time. Yeah. Yeah. Like a regular RPG though. They put in the grind. The grind is real. The grind is super real. Yeah. The throne daggers. Just a little bit. I won't go too crazy here. Yeah. Yeah, we we just need to get throwing up. That way, when we're running the enemies, we can shave a bit of health off before we actually mm -hmm. get into combat. Come on, you son of a bitch. Clumsy fucking fingers. Got some all. Got to rest up. And our health might actually be high enough to try and kill something on the way home. On the way home? To Arana's Peace. Ah, oh, yeah. That is definitely home in this game. The sunset approaches. Mm hmm. Oh, just go. There we go. 
go. So we'll see if we can bust into the healer's hut while we're here. Or no, we'll do that tomorrow. I gotta get flowers anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we still need flowers, flying water. Um, what else do we need? Uh, green fur, we got. Yep. We got the acorn. We got the acorn. We need the fairy dust. Oh, yes, fairy dust. Oh, I should have bought some flasks from Dill Hole at the shop. Can you get flasks from Healer? Just drinking a potion. I don't know. Uh, it's a good question. I can't honestly remember if she either will sell them to you or if she'll say, oh, get those from the guy in town. I need my flask. Uh. Definitely come up with a flask by using a healing potion. Yep. That's... Just for the hell of it, let's just. Since we're pegging around looking for a fight here before we crash for the night. Oh, <sighs> not this guy. Yeah, he doesn't really give us anything. No, and he's fairly uh, tough. Uh, too late. May as well go for it. It's too late. I've escaped. Oh, okay. Just like that. Like a shadow into the night. Like the true hero you are. <laughs> yeah, man. Just run away. Oh, I'll be eating those guys for fucking two stabs later on. But <laughs> for now, I want someone that's going to give me some cold hard cash for my troubles. There's a guy that'll do it. Damn it. That was too fast. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> no, you made it out. Dick bag. I don't want your purple sword. Give me some goblinage. Whatever. Let's kill this guy. Yep. I saved the game for a reason. What's this guy? Brigand? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, uh, yeah, let's get him. Let's get him. Yeah, got a bit off the bat. A little bit. No, he's gonna chew us up here, though. Like, uh, you, I think you might have this. Like, I think I'm, uh, I'm doing quite a bit of damage. See, I'm planning on having to drink the potion before this is over. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm guessing. Well, yeah. <clears throat> figure I might as well make it worth it. Yeah. Oh, you got oh, him! Shit! Look at that. Nice. All right. First off, let's just fucking get the daggers. Bam. See, that's the main reason for saving before a fight, too. Is sometimes it can fuck up your daggers. Yeah. It's just a glitch in the game. It doesn't happen often at all, but... 25 silvers. Nice. Worth it. It's totally worth it. We had to use healing potion anyway, so... Well, I haven't even used it. Yeah, but you should. Think I should and try and get another fight out of the night. Yeah, may as well. Yeah, we need a flask. Oh yeah, in this game, if you just put potion, it assumes healing potion. Otherwise, you gotta specify vigor or magic. Uh, Is that the only two potions? Two other potions there besides health? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, in this one, vigor and magic. Um, and yeah, so let's just save right back over top of that bad boy. Go find us a little fight. Oh. Oh, damn it. It's night time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll get one dagger in. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when you get decent at throwing a dagger. Yeah, that dagger just wiped him. Oh, come on, game. Did it just ignore? Check your inventory. Three daggers. See? See? 
That's what I'm talking about, people. How many did you have to start with? Four. Four uh, daggers. Yeah. yeah. You gotta watch the bullshit. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, whatever. Yeah. I mean, one dagger took him out before. Oh, yeah, but my regular fighting skill is <laughs> not there at all. Killed that goblin like nothing. He's so dead. So I know, like, there is, like, I don't know, to me, a di different subset of people that actually, like, try to dodge and shit. Ah, night mantis! This guy's are fast. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you can't actually just escape across the screen by going up against those guys who are too fast. But yeah, there's there's some people that actually like to dodge and parry and all that shit in there. But Yeah, when I played, I tried all that stuff and, like, to actually fight, fight, and yeah. it is not worth it. It is hard. You will die <laughs> so many times. Yeah, just go for the straight up attack. Yeah. It's well I, and actually like once I get strong and powerful enough and have enough hit points and my weapon is maxed out, then if I get into a fight, then uh, I'll actually just spend a bunch of time dodging and parrying to get those skills up. Yeah. Well, we got a good night's sleep. I'll go over to the tree and pick some you get sons some fruit. Of bitches. It's amazing. Amazing. Did you pick flowers? I wasn't yep. paying attention. I got flowers. So there's there's the tally for this little episode. <coughs> We're getting there. We're almost halfway on that string. Yeah. Yep. That's what does the damage. Most of the damage. What's what's luck use for? Since I'm looking at luck it right now. It just goes up by itself and it's kind of like when you're in a fight whether they're going to miss and whether you're going to hit. Ah, uh, okay. Like it's, if you're not actually dodging and stuff. It's, if you if you do have the timing down, it does that. The mechanics totally work. It's You can dodge and you won't take damage if they're stabbing. Ah, uh, okay. But otherwise, it's they kind of use that stuff to muddle everything out and muddle uh. everything up. But it's... It's like, you know, the, their own little engine. It's like a, D, you know, a different kind of D&D &D engine that... Yeah. Works everything out, so... Hmm. No complaints for me, that's for sure. No. Nope. <laughs> None for me either. I love good, it. It's a good little game. Alright. Save her up. Don't go fuck yourself. Alright. Yep. Hmm. Next time. Yep. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.